Ohio's Amber Alert system is a critical tool in helping locate abducted children. Yeah, the goal is to rapidly spread factual information, of course, to the public to increase the chances of a safe recovery. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson spent the day in Columbus, where the Amber Alert Advisory Committee actually met to review the alerts and discuss improvements to the system. Well, a very informative meeting here in Columbus today regarding Ohio's Amber Alert system. And one thing I learned today, issuing an Amber Alert isn't as easy as a law enforcement agency calling the state patrol and then an alert gets issued in an instant. So for the first quarter of 2024, we had seven Amber Alerts. Those living in the greater Cincinnati area probably only saw two Amber Alerts pop up on their phone. When a car was stolen from outside Good Samaritan Hospital in January with a child inside, and last month when a 17-year-old and her baby left a foster home in Westchester with the child's father. There's 12 ES regions around Ohio and we can activate one region or we can activate multiple regions, uh, clear up to a statewide activation. Activations are decided on a case-by-case -case basis. And we don't want to overuse that system so that when it happens, when that Amber Alert tone goes off, that people pay attention to it. Also, when a child is abducted, the investigating agency first has to gather descriptive information about the child, suspect, and circumstances of the abduction. Then enter it into the National Crime Information Center operated by the FBI. And you have to believe that the child's uh, life or is in danger of their life is in danger or that they're at risk of, of serious bodily harm. That is that is part of the one of the criteria. Once all pertinent information is entered and received by the state, it could take up to an hour before the public gets alerted as there is a process of inputting accurate information and making proper notifications to multiple agencies, such as ODOT and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. When an alert does go out, depending on a person's phone, some of us will now see more information at our fingertips. A system upgrade now allows the state to put out a 360 character message. Um, it's not something that we've used until uh, this year. Uh, before that, it was only a 90 character message. And during today's meeting, the committee also discussed ways to better inform the public about the four different types of alerts. An Amber Alert, Blue Alert, Endangered Missing Child Alert, and Endangered Missing Adult Alert. For more information, go to our website, WLWT.com. In Columbus, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Now, OSP says there's a watch uh, commander on duty 24-7. That officer is responsible for assisting law enforcement agencies with the Amber Alert process and facilitating different parts of the activation process as well.